Today I've come to try Sashiro, Japan's number one rated conveyor belt sushi here in Bangkok, Thailand. Let's go in and try the sushi and find out what it's all about. Swati kap. Nunkun kap. Oh, kapuna kap. I got here a little bit early. It's only 11.45 and yes, this place is still empty, but trust me, it will fill up. These places always seem to get really full near lunchtime. I'm really excited to sit down and have a bite to eat. Here's my table, let's try this. Sushi is one of my favorite foods and Sushiro is the number one rated conveyor belt sushi in Japan, as well as here in Thailand. There's so much good looking sushi coming down these conveyor belts. We're gonna definitely eat a bunch because I'm super hungry. Sushiro was started in Japan in 1984, and now there are over 600 locations worldwide. Basically, you order everything on this iPad, and there's four different languages. Let's change this to English real quick. And now, as you can see, here's the menu in English. They have limited time specials with a bunch of different things. Today's specials, nigiri has, I don't know, so many different pages. Rolls, gunkin, side menu. There are over a hundred items on this menu that you can order from. But of course, the main attraction is this conveyor belt where things just come by and you can grab what you like. If you order anything, it will come up on this special conveyor belt and be delivered right to you. And the prices are very reasonable. It's basically 40, 60, 80, or 120 baht per plate. And at 40 baht per plate, that's basically about a dollar 10 cents. Unfortunately, they're out of iced tea today, so I'll have to make my own, which is pretty simple. You get a cup and you get this matcha powder and basically just dump a bunch of matcha powder in here. And then we can just fill it up with hot water and we'll just basically make our own green iced tea. No problem. And the nice thing with this is there's no sugar in it. And this right here is young yellowtail. Let's definitely grab some of this. This is 60 baht, which is about $1.85. And here comes one of my favorites, grilled eel unagi. Love this stuff. The lunch crowd is just coming in, so a few things are not out yet. Definitely want to order some of the tuna, which is one of my favorite. And I am looking for ikura, which is basically the salmon roe right here. So let's add that, order, almost let the smoked salmon get away. Definitely got to try this. Here comes my food that I ordered. Perfect timing. One. Got quite a bit of food to start with here. So let's start with probably this guy here, which I believe was the young yellowtail. This is the young yellowtail, I believe. Oh, this looks really, really good. I've already put some wasabi into my soy sauce and let's give this a try. Mm, wow. It's just like butter. I mean, it just melts in your mouth. This is the way you want your sushi to be, to be soft and buttery. And that is really good. I'm really impressed. I mean, this is a huge chain restaurant. And so far, I know it's just one bite, but I'm very happy with it. Next, let's try this salmon. This is smoked salmon here. And I'm really curious. Uh, this will be like a bagel, smoked salmon on a bagel? I don't know. Hmm. I gotta say, that one's a little strange. It's smoked salmon with a dollop of cream cheese on it with rice. A little odd taste. It's not typical sushi, but I wanted to try it because I've never seen that before at a sushi restaurant. Up next, I'm gonna try the ikura. This is basically rice wrapped in seaweed with some salmon roe, and they put a little bit of cucumber in here. This is one of my favorites, and I've never seen them put cucumber in it. I guess usually it's just salmon roe, but again, look at that. Beautiful colors, salmon roe, a little piece of cucumber, a little soy sauce. Mmm, really good flavor. The samuro just pops in your mouth and it's juicy and it's moist. The seaweed is crunchy, which is important, and the rice is really good as well. Very happy so far. And now for my favorite. I love tuna. This is my favorite sushi to get. This is nigiri. It's just a piece of fish that's raw over rice. And this is definitely my favorite. Not so much the rolls. I love tuna. I'm excited to try it here and see how it is. If I could learn how to operate the chopsticks. Again, it is really, really good. I'm very happy with this so far. For the price, it's a very good place. Yes, I know that you can go out on the street here in Bangkok and get sushi for 10 baht, 20 baht. It's very inexpensive on the street, but when you go into nicer places, 
it's definitely more expensive. And even here, where most plates being 40 baht, which like I said is about $1.10, that is extremely inexpensive compared to some of the other sushi restaurants that I've tried here in Bangkok and in other parts of the world. Just having like this chopstick malfunction day. Do you know how to use chopsticks? Do you have any problems with using them? Let me know in the comments below if you like using chopsticks or if it's just a skill that you still haven't mastered. Mm. The one thing that I still haven't tried from my first round of orders is this. And this is the unagi. This is eel. So let's give this guy a try. Uh-oh, disaster. Well, unfortunately, the first piece of eel fell apart as I was pulling it out. So that's not great, but that's okay. Let's see how this is. It's definitely kind of destroyed. Mm. The eel is still really good. If you've never tried eel, I highly recommend you try it. It's delicious. I can't really describe what it tastes like. It's a little bit like fish consistency soft, but this is barbecue eel. So it has a little bit of barbecue sauce on it. Don't be afraid. Go out and try new things that you've never tried before. All right, now for the last piece of this young yellow tail. Mm -hmm. Love it, love it, love it. Mm. There's my tally so far, five plates. But we still got a ways to go because I can typically eat 10 to 15 plates. Let's see what's on today's special. We've got less fatty tuna roll, grilled herring, grilled hokkido salmon, and jumbo shrimp. Oh, I definitely want to try the jumbo shrimp. And what is this, Sakura shrimp gunkin? No, not really interested in that. But I think I'm going to go back and I think we're going to order the boiled Hokkaido salmon as well. The salmon billy looks really good. I'm going to give it a try. Mm. Look at that. Look how fatty it is. That looks so, so good. Nice and marbled. And when you take off these plastic lids that cover your sushi and protect it, you basically take them back here on the conveyor belt, put them back, they go back, get washed, and get reused again. So while I'm waiting, oh, look at that. Here it comes. Talk about timing. So this is, I believe this was the salmon, I'm not even sure what this is anymore. Salmon with skin on it. And here comes my jumbo shrimp. That is definitely a big piece of shrimp. Okay, now I remember what this is. This is broiled Hokkaido salmon, so I definitely got the right thing. Never tried that before. It's a little bit salty. It's not quite smoked salmon, but it's also not raw salmon. It's kind of in between, and the skin adds quite a bit of texture. It's actually pretty good. Something I've never tried before. Um, I'm definitely more of a tuna guy than a salmon guy, but this is good. Mm. Up next is this giant shrimp. I'm really looking forward to this. Love shrimp. Uh-oh. Mmm. Mmm. That is so, so good. It's not overcooked. A lot of times I find that the shrimp gets overcooked at sushi places and it's just very rubbery. That was absolutely delicious. Really like the texture of it. The rice here is just right, the right amount of vinegar in it. Actually, the rice is one of the most important things because if you don't get the rice right at a sushi restaurant, the fish just doesn't quite taste as good. I know a lot of people think that the fish is the most important part. And of course, you want high quality fresh fish, but the rice is also something extremely important that a lot of places tend to overlook. Now, for the fatty salmon, Fatty salmon, skinny salmon, or maybe I'm the fatty salmon. I don't know. Mm. Really good. Like I said, the marbling on it, just the texture, the taste, very fresh. It's not cold like it's been frozen. It might have been frozen at one point, hard to really say, but it is really good quality salmon. Very happy with this. And boy, I got to tell you guys, this place is packed. I came here at about 11.45 and it was empty. Now it's 12.30 and this place is packed with people. Every table is taken. It is really full. So I better eat. I almost forgot that this arrived that I ordered. And this is uni. This is sea urchin and squid. And I gotta be honest with you guys, it is not my favorite by any means, but it's a hard dish to get right. And I wanted to order it here and try it and see how it tastes. So yes, I am sacrificing for you because sea urchin uni is definitely not my favorite. But like I said, it's a difficult dish to get right. And I'm gonna try it and see how it is. It's okay. I mean, again, this is not my favorite, but it does have the right texture, the right flavors like I'm used to. If you like squid, if you like sea urchin, give it a try. For me, mm, this doesn't rate that high. 
corn? Corn sushi? Only in Thailand. All right, what do we got coming here? Shrimp with cheese? Shrimp with cheese. Okay, that is really strange. Let's try that. Cheese and shrimp is not something that I would think normally would mix, but again, here in Thailand, they will do all sorts of interesting combinations. Shrimp and cheese, it's not something I would think of, but let's give this a try. Hmm. I love cheese, I love shrimp, but I'm not sure if I like them together. Eh, so-so. Almost missed this albacore tuna belly, one of my favorites. And yes, we're getting quite a little stack here. Already eaten 10 plates, so I don't know how many more I can eat, but let's keep going. There's not as many rolls in the menu here as in most sushi places I'm used to in the U.S., but this albacore should be really good. Mmm. Mmm. Very buttery, very soft the way it should be, and albacore is one of my favorite fish. Speaking of rolls, the roll I ordered has arrived. This is the dragon roll. Wow, look at this thing, holy crap. This thing is huge. That is giant. It basically is a California roll with barbecue eel on top. Wow. Oh man, this thing is gigantic. I don't know how I'm gonna shove this into my big mouth. Seriously, it is, it is huge. I might have to use my, uh, my fingers here, but wow, this is a giant piece. Uh, It's pretty good. The one criticism I would have here is that there's just way too much rice and the actual roll is just too big and overpowers everything. If it was a little bit smaller, I think it would be much tastier because otherwise there's just, I mean, I don't know if you can see this, but there is just way, way, way too much rice in the middle of this thing. Yeah, it's okay. I wouldn't order it again. Oh, and there's rice on my shirt. Hopefully it hasn't been there throughout this whole video. Oh my God. I'm definitely getting full here. I think I've put down, what, like 12 plates already? I probably have room in me for like three more, which is more than I should be eating, but I wanna show you guys some of the other things they have available here. Tuna with green onion. Well, that sounds quite good. Let's give that a try. Oh, I like it, it's gunkin style. And basically, like I said, for a gunkin style, seaweed, there's rice underneath, and then in this case, it is tuna with green onion, it's been chopped up. Mm. Definitely taste the green onion in it, which is great because I love green onion. Again, the crunchiness of the seaweed, the softness of the rice, and in this case, the mushiness of the tuna. And that's because it's been chopped up, so it's gonna have a bit of a mushy flavor. But overall, all those textures, they go really well together. It's just a wonderful mouthfeel. I couldn't resist. I had to get another one of these jumbo shrimp. They're just so good, I couldn't pass it up. Uh-oh, this guy's falling apart a little bit. Wow, that is definitely probably my favorite thing here. Just this giant boiled shrimp, a little bit crunchy, so tender and juicy. Oh, just, I'm just very happy. I love food, a good meal is very important to me. And sushi is one of my favorite foods. And the reason I love places like this is because of the variety you have here. Of course, there are much better, more expensive sushi places you can go to. But this is just fun to come to once in a while because there's this conveyor belt. You can watch things go down the belt and pick things out that you like. There's actually a whole dessert menu with different ice creams, cakes, bananas, there's crepes, there's cheesecake, there's all sorts of things in here, but I don't think I have any room left for any of this. Well guys, I think that's it, I'm gonna tap out. This is the final result, 15 plates. Wow, I'm so full. And just like that, she counted all of it up, gave me this payment card, I go up front to pay, and I think I heard her say 548 baht. Let's go and see if my tie is correct on my numbers. I was definitely way off on my math. It came out to be 924 baht, which is $27 US. Really enjoyed that meal. Again, guys, don't forget to check out some of my other videos. Please don't forget to take care of yourselves, and I'll see you soon in another one of my videos. Bye, guys. Oh my God, I'm so full.